హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసి అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఏ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆన్ కన్వల్యూషన్ యూజింగ్ ఓవర్ ల్యాప్ యాడ్ మెథడ్ హియర్ an fir filter impulse response is given along with the input x of n and we need to find the output using overlap add method by assuming the block length as 7 the first step is parameter and block formation here first let us consider the impulse response which is h of n here the length of impulse response is 4 that's why we can take m is equal to 4 now let us consider the input sequence which is x of n the input sequence is as given in this problem we need to consider this input sequence and the block length is given as 7 so we can consider the block length as n is equal to 7. Now, how do we choose block size of overlap add method? So, for overlap add method, we will divide x of n into block length l and we will use the relation n is equal to l plus m minus 1. So, from this we will get since n is equal to 7, we can write 7 is equal to L plus M is 4 minus 1. So, from this, we can say L is equal to 4. So, now this is very important. So, L is equal to 4. After this, we will 0 pad H of N to block length N is equal to 7, which means we are having h of n with length 4 for this we will be adding three zeros so that the length of h of n becomes 7 so we will get h of n is equal to 3 2 1 1 0 0 and 0 so this is h of n for our calculation in the next step let us divide x of n into length l is equal to 4 and 0 pad to get the block length n is equal to 7. Now this x of n will be divided into 4 sequence. So which means first 4 sequence we will take for that we will add 3 zeros to make length n is equal to 7. Then we'll take the next four sequence. Then we'll add zeros to get length n is equal to 7. So let us take first four values and let us find x1 of n. So which will be equal to 1, 2, 3 and 3. For this, we'll append three zeros to make this as length equal to 7. Similarly, we will take next four values and we will form x2 of n that will be equal to 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2. For this, we will append three zeros to make this as length 7. We will find x3 of n that will be equal to by considering next four values of x of n which is minus 3. 5, 6, minus 1, then we will append 3 zeros to make it as length 7. Similarly, we will find x4 of n that will be equal to, let us consider the last 4 values which is 2, 0, 2, 1. For this, we will append 3 zeros to make this as length 7. Now, corresponding to each block which is formed by x of n will find the individual convolution values. So, for x1 of n, we will find y1 of n by taking the convolution of x1 of n with h of n. Similarly, 
we will find y2 of n by taking convolution of x2 of n with h of n. We will find y3 of n by taking convolution of x3 of n with h of n. And finally, we will find y4 of n that will be equal to convolution of x4 of n with h of n. Now to find the convolution, we will use the matrix method where the matrix x1 of n will be written in the circular form that will be multiplied with h of n to find the value of y1 of n. As you can observe here, so we can write y1 of n which is x1 of n convoluted with h of n. So here first we have written the matrix x1 of n in circular form. So we have written the value 1, 2, 3, 3, 0, 0 and 0. Then 1 is shifted here. Then we have written 2, 3, 3, 0, 0 and one more 0 is written on the top. So what we are doing here, we are shifting these values in circular form. Similarly, 1 is shifted here to the next position and next value is 2, 3, 3, 0. Remaining two zeros are written on the top 0 and 0. Likewise, we will write the matrix for x1 of n. Then we will write the matrix for h of n. And the first row is multiplied with the column of h of n to get the value as 3. Similarly, second row is multiplied with the column h of n to get the value as 8. Third row is multiplied with h of n to get 14. Similarly, we will get 18, 11, 6 and 3. So, this value is obtained by multiplying the matrix x of n with h of n. Similarly, we can find y2 of n by writing the matrix of x2 of n in circular way and that is multiplied with h of n to get the values as 6, 7, 1, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3 and minus 2. Next, we can find y3 of n by considering x3 of n in matrix form. So, you need to write x3 of n sequence. Then, you need to shift sequence of x3 of n by one position and write it in the circular way that is multiplied with h of n to get the values as minus 9, 9, 25, 11, 9, 5 and minus 1. Finally, we can find y4 of n by writing the matrix x4 of n in circular form and that is multiplied with h of n to get the values as 6, 4, 8, 9, 4, 3 and 1. Once you get the values of y1 of n, y2 of n, y3 of n and y4 of n, we can go with step 2 which is add to overlapping part. Since we use block length is equal to 4 and after convolution, we will get the length as 7. The output will overlap. So, here the method is to add the overlapped part. So, here we will write the sequence y of n which is 3, 14, 18, 11, 6 and 3. Since the block length is 4, after fourth position, we will write the next sequence which is y2 of n. Similarly, after fourth value of y2 of n, we will write y3 of n and after fourth value of y3 of n, we will write y4 of n. Once you write all these values, we need to add these values. So, 3, 8, 14, 18, 11 plus 6, it is 17, 6 plus 7, it is 13, 3 plus 1, it is 4, minus 5, minus 4, minus 9, which is minus 13, minus 3 plus 9, which is 6, minus 2 plus 25, it is 23, 11, 9 plus 6 is 15, 5 plus 4 is 9, minus 1, 
plus c i t is seven nine four three and one. So finally, this is the sequence which is obtained after convolution of x of n and h of n. So this is the convolution y of n which is obtained after performing the convolution of x of n and h of n using overlap add method. This is about problem on overlap add method. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.